everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, big hello to all the new subs. Um, today I'm messing with uh, about three or four different Evan Rue Johnson 80s, mid 80s, early 80s, low profile 15s and 9.9s. Um, reason why I'm making this video is because I've seen people with these engines they talk about water cooling issues and they talk about the grommets and um, so what I wanted to show you is what they're talking about and the reason why especially if you've got these salty ones um, you can change the water pump, the water pump impeller, the housing, the plate, everything, and your engine still will not pee out the pee tube properly or it will not cool. And I've got two different uh, motors here that I want to show you um, the cause and what the grommets are, what they do, and, uh, and then how, in my opinion, Evan Rude even made it worse. Um, so I want to get to looking at these engines and I'll show you how it's kind of evolved. Um, all right, here is let me get my boat hole. Here's the two different styles. You can see that one is kind of square. The exhaust, inner exhaust housing, inner exhaust tube is kind of square. This one's off a short shaft. You can see the water tube only sticks up that far. Here's a different model, and I believe it's a little bit later model. And they only made the problem worse. Um, if you notice, this exhaust leg or exhaust inner exhaust tube is round, uh, horn shape. And this is off a long shaft. Now, as you can see, taking this power head off, a bolt broke off here, a bolt broke off there. I'll get those out because this is the power head I'm going to use. Um, but what are the grommets? All right, so now if you notice on this engine right in here, there's no little water tube exit discharge water tube. If you notice here, there is. So there's a grommet in here for the discharge side and there's also a grommet under here for the input side the intake this is where the water pump would be the impeller spinning right here pumping water through this tube into here circulates through the head and the passages comes out here well by adding this they made it worse because they added a second grommet so even if this grommets not all collapsed and salty and is allowing water from the water pump to c come down up through the tube and in here and circulate if this grommet on the discharge little pipe can't discharge the water it all stays in the engine which has explosions going on in it and that heats it up and the engine overheats because it can't discharge because of this grommet so they only made the problem worse. Um, this engine doesn't have the discharge issues. It only has the one grommet for the intake tube from the water pump here. So this one I've already got unbolted. And look at the grommet. Now, there's your grommet. I'll, I'll show you it better. But that's the rubber grommet that they're talking about right there. 
And you can see, ain't no water getting through that. It's all collapsed, salty, melted. And it goes in that hole. Now look at that intake hole. It's just full of salt, crud. I'll end up having to take the exhaust bypass um, cover off here and clean all that out of there. And hopefully I will be able to get it all clean. Um, so you can see the salt in there. So you can see, that's not going to allow water to flow through this power head. Everything's all clogged up, and that's what they're talking about when the grommet. Now, let me pull this other inner exhaust tube off. Alright, let me pull that one off real quick. said this one has two double the problems okay here's your intake tube this is where the water is going to be sent up from the water pump impeller and look at that grommet completely roach no water is going to pass through that now let's say that was happened to be good and the water went up and circulated all through the passages then you'd have this to deal with look at the discharge grommet you can't even see it you can't even see through it that's the little tube where it discharges and you can also see the salt there so that's what the grommets are Hi. all right I'll be right back all righty I pulled the uh, thermostat cover off and boy you can see the salt and this is after I've kind of cleaned it <laughs> here's the thermostat completely roached Now you can see I've got my air gun in the P-tube discharge. Now watch what comes out of that thermostat hole. So, you can see what salt can do to one of these poor little guys. So, let me get this all cleaned up and I'll be back. Okay. Here's the grommet I dug out of there. You can see now there's just the copper pipe there with a little bitty lip, a little bit better than probably. If you look right there, there's a lip that goes around here. And it's only about maybe an eighth inch. And then there's the, that part right there is the copper tube here. All right. 
Now, so that's going to go up against this surface here, and there's going to be the grommet in there. Okay, so we got some grommets. Here's the old style grommet. This one right here. And like I said, and this, this is brand new, it's just the old style. Okay? Here's what came out of there, out of that pickup tube I just showed. You can see it was barely getting any water. Um, it's all distorted and folded over. Here's the one I'm going to put in it, which is the new style grommet. But I don't know if you can tell, and I didn't do a perfect job, but these two pieces... This one goes to the top of that. This one goes to the bottom of that. I trim them off. I use this right here to do it. It's just a big razor blade. I cut them off. I cut about that much off. And that's a little bit at an angle. That's not going to hurt a thing. The main thing is I want to get rid of some of this rubber so I don't end up with this again. So I actually trim them. Now this will go with the skinny end down in the hole there. I'll put that in there. I use my little knitting tool to make sure that's in there. And then this piece will fit in this recess on the inner exhaust tube. And that little 1 8 inch, this will get mashed in there then. And that way I don't have all that excess rubber. I actually normally cut a little more off than that, but that'll be fine. So that's how I do them. I use the new style grommet, and I trim them. Then I put them together. And like I said, with the older style, they added the little bitty 3-4 inch discharge tube and that only made it worse that gives you one more grommet to contend with so let me get at this thing I'll be back okay here's one of the long shafts that I did the grommets on that's what you're after This one, I got the, I'm washing the inside of the cowling pan, and I'll drop this power head into there with the new trimmed gas, or grommet, and uh, should be as good as that one, and then I got one more to do. So that's what people are talking about when they're talking about the grommets. Um, you do have to pull the power head. Um, there is a workaround. If it's the ones with the uh, just the intake grommet and uh, looking at that like I said I believe the year is 1985 when they did the improvement and added that other little copper uh, discharge tube which added another grommet which added to the problem in my humble opinion so uh, that's what I do to these old salty things if I can get them apart I get oh about a cup cup and a half of salt out of them and uh, and then you have to pull the thermostat cover, the exhaust port cover, um, who, who knows how many bolts will break, and it can be time consuming. I do it on my motors. Um, generally when I get one of these comes in and it's super salty, and I have methods I, I check for salt content on these things, and I can almost tell just from years of doing it whether it'll come apart or not, or come apart uh, to be, uh, you know, 
costly effective for the owner and me so but that's what you got to do um, so if you've replaced your water pump your impeller and your engine still ain't cooling properly and it's one of these low profile uh, 15 or 99s it's most likely them grommets so thanks for watching <laughs>